Hello, this is Sarah. Today I wanted to share with you a good recipe that my mom does. This recipe is uh, called stuffed baked peppers. It's a, an Albanian dish. And Albanian dishes are, are dishes from the Turkish origin. So here you go, this is a Turkish dish. I'm gonna cook it as my mom does it, so if there might be variations from the whatever was the original recipe. I'm gonna use six medium-sized bell peppers. A little bit of rice, I'm gonna use this uh, one and a half espresso cups of rice. I'm gonna use uh, 250 grams of uh, minced beef meat. One can of tomato sauce, I don't have a can so I'm gonna use uh, from the bottle. We're gonna use fresh parsley in here. And you need 10 medium sized onions, like this. Since there were some very small ones, I have a little bit more. And you don't worry because it doesn't, it, it does not overtake the taste. Extra virgin olive oil, so you need salt and if you like it a little bit spicy, you can use some pepper. So first thing, I'm gonna chop very finely the onion. I think it's very important to be very finely chopped, so it's, it's a job that takes a little bit of time. But it is worth it because uh, the onion like this, uh, it's, it's uh, hidden into the, it's all melted into the dish. So here it is, these are all my onions. And I'm gonna take uh, half of this package, that will be uh, like a half a pound. I'm gonna put it on top. Put this to cook in medium heat. This uh, requires a little bit more oil than usual. And this is because of the rice. The rice is gonna make, make it feel dry if you don't use more oil than you would normally would. I'm gonna cover it a bit. So as the onion and the minced meat is cooking, I'm, I'm preparing the peppers. In order to prepare the peppers, I will cut the top of the pepper off. And the here is gonna go the filling. And this, uh, I'm gonna keep them aside because we're gonna use the top of the belt pepper. I'm gonna cut it very in, uh, I'm gonna chop it in small pieces and put it inside with the meat and the, and the onion so that it can cook as well. So meantime here is cooking. The onions release some water and we're gonna leave it until the, we will see that the onion is cooked and there is no more water in the in the pan. I'm adding the top of the bell pepper as well. I finely chopped it and I'm gonna mix it with the rest. So now the, the onion and meat is almost ready and I can tell because the onion is uh, cooked. Now is the moment to adjust also pepper if you want to put black pepper and salt. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. I have a bunch of parsley here and I'm cleaning it and I will chop it very finely and put it in here as well. So here it is. So finally I will add the rice and I will add one third of the tomato sauce. Like this. I'm gonna leave it for three minutes to mix well together. And then I'm gonna put the whole mixture into the peppers. So the mixture is ready, now I need to stuff the peppers. One thing that I forgot to do, I've seen my mom do does this. You need to put a pinch of salt inside the pepper like this for each pepper and then fill them with, uh, with the meat and rice and onion. There is some mixture left but that's okay. I'm gonna leave it down there and I'm gonna place the peppers lying down like this. As a final step, I'm gonna put water in the pan and it needs to cover half of the peppers. And now it's gonna go to the oven at 200 degrees. It's gonna stay for about one hour, one side. Then I'm gonna turn them and they're gonna stay for another hour. So it's a total for about two hours. Uh, they stayed in the oven for about one hour and I need to turn them. So 
so that the other side, the other side is cooked as well. If there is a lot of water, like, it, like there is right now, you put it on the downside of the oven so that the water evaporates. So here it is, it's finally done. The dinner is ready to be served. I tried it and it's uh, very yummy. It reminds me of home and it's something that my mom does and I really love this dish because I find it easier to follow a step-by-step -step written recipe rather than a video blog. I will do a blog post and link it below so that you might go to that whenever you fancy doing this so bookmark that, I don't know, you, you, you do whatever you want with it. This was all, thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you soon, bye! Tomato bruschetta, we take a fresh tomato and slice it into small pieces.